and he is the visiting faculty at agri business institute like manes hyderabad vemnicom niam ibm bikaner and he is the lab member at hrd net and sir is the alumnus of faculty of management study university of delhi and today sir will be describe about the strategic field marketing approach for agri input industry sir kindly share your experience and knowledge about this topic i will welcome you sir the podium is yours thank you and uh, good evening to all of you yeah uh, sir just would like to add one thing there are two batches right now this is a senior batch uh, of 2022 as well as the newly inducted students of 2021 so all have joined for this session with you very nice and uh, thank you once again good evening to all of you i think i am audible now yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Good. uh sir. You see, I see the future of India and the future of agriculture in the hands of you people. You are the future of India, and I have all best wishes for all of you who are starting up your career uh, in many different and diversified fields. Nevertheless, agriculture is one which is. Uh, an important and also need of the r as far as india is concerned now while we are talking on agriculture and i'll be sharing my experiences with you i would like this to be more of an interactive session uh, rather than just a monologue monologue is when only one person speaks and dialogue is when both of us you know uh you you listen at as, as well as you speak uh this is called a two step flow of communication and all all of you who have been in uh, as management student would uh, definitely like to know about the wilburn scramps models of two step flow of communication where uh any kind of information flow takes place from source to destination and it must come back as feedback also from destination to source and in between the source and destination there is a lot of big environment which is there environment could be enabler at the same time a hurdle also in communication which has to take place from source to destination source at present is mine and destination all of you who are here and this is called wilbur scramps two step flow communication uh my, might be in uh, in marketing and market research some of you might read uh, there are in number of books like philip scotler the father of uh, the marketing then uh, candip is there uh, which is again market research and there are a number of uh, books but uh, keep uh, this habit of uh, learning and development through uh reading just not google but read read enough and while you share your experiences try to learn from the experiences of the other people also about uh, what they have uh, seen uh, during their journey in a professional approach i have a very long journey and my journey has been in pharmaceutical in man made fiber in imfl that is indian made foreign liquor fmcg that is uh, fast moving consumer products uh, and uh, crop protection then uh, fertilizers and many different kind of diversified fields that i have been in uh, i would uh, start with one small sentence that the place of learning is not the institution the place of learning is not the professors the place of learning is not just the you know faculty the place of learning for an agriculture person is the farm field and your teacher uh, in case if you can take the teacher the farmer a progressive farmer in the farm field is your teacher 
you learn maximum while you are in the field and you do not learn much uh, while you are in uh, classroom academics. Some of you who have passed out BSc in agriculture uh, must be aware of number of subjects that have been taught uh, during first, second, third, and fourth year of BSc agriculture, entomology, plant pathology, mycology, plant breeding genetics, agronomy, soil sciences, you know, number of the such uh, subjects, varied subjects are there, agriculture, economics, extension, agriculture extension. So, uh, so many, so many you must have. But when it comes to learning, uh, please uh, put your mic on the mute, somebody is, uh, you know, and then it is a distraction. Uh, that is my humble request to all of you. And uh, while there is an interactive session, you can uh, unmute yourself and then raise your questions and then I'll be more than happy to answer. So the place of learning is the farmer field. That's what I have been talking about. I'll give you a small example and also a story, both story as well as example. Uh, you know, I was uh, in... Uh, Warangal, and we were there in the farmer field. And along with me, there were another about three, four students, those who were in the final year of their BSc agriculture at Acharya Anjiranga University in Hyderabad, Rajendranagar. Now, these were thinking that the farmer who is uh, having all legs in the muddy field of paddy because this place, I think uh, it was near Parkal in uh, Warangal districts of uh, Andhra Pradesh. Now I think it is in Telangana. So we were trying to, you know, pitch a product for the control of leaf folder on paddy. It's a serious and a very nasty pest. And it is in Telugu, it is called Akamurtu Purgu some of you who understand Telugu. So first is the stem border, stem border to leaf folder, leaf folder to so on many, you know, uh, like BPH, ground plant hopper, WBPH, GLH, green leaf hopper. These are the insect pests uh, and the disease spectrum is uh, uh, Rhizoctonia solani, that is uh, sheath blight of paddy and Pyricolore aurizae, which is, uh, uh, you know, the paddy blast, which are prevalent most part of India. So this product that we were trying to pitch in was for leaf folder of paddy. And I asked these students that enter this um, field and take out few saplings, few, pl few plants which are infected with the leaf folder. For about half an hour, they kept on moving inside the field. And then they fi finally said, Sir, this field is free from leaf folder, free from leaf folder. There is no pest, there is no insect pest of uh, leaf folder in this field. And then I uh, called the farmer's small son, you know, he, his age was hardly around uh, 11 or 12 years old. I asked him, you know, and uh, we translated into Telugu. And the gentleman was Mr. Jal Dr. Jalapati Rao from Agriculture Research Station, Marangal. He also asked this, can you identify Akamurtu Purku here? This young boy, 11 or 12 years old only, picked up a small pebble, you know, small pebble, and threw right on the plant where the leaf holder was there, and he said, go and pluck. Once we took, we opened the, you know, we opened the leaf, and the excreta of the leaf holder pest was there. Now see, Four years of academics, BSc agriculture, trying to say that farmer is fool or the farmer is illiterate. He has not gone to the college. He does not understand. Whatever I am talking about, the farmer will not understand, sir. What will I do? Now, this kind of attitude is there with some of the students who are in final year of BSc and the farmer's son, who has never gone to any agriculture university, not studied, is able to identify leaf folder so well. What does it mean? That in case if I have also to learn, the farmer is 
my teacher. If you imbibe this, you are going to be very successful in taking up every business profession for which we are all working on. And this institute is also providing uh, n number of uh, you know classroom learnings for all of you to understand agriculture. Now I'll give you a broad outlook of uh, agriculture. No, sorry. I said that I will be sharing two stories. The other story is also very inspirational and at the same time very important also. Uh, most of you must have heard Howard University, one of the most prestigious university in the world, Howard University. Now in Howard University, in the reception, a very old, you know, must be in mid 60s, that old gentleman and his wife both came, shabbily dressed. The man has not even shaved. The wife looks as if she has not even taken a bath. The clothes that they were wearing was quite dirty. And they asked the receptionist that we want to meet the director of this institute. They say, what do you want? No, we want to meet the director of this institute. Now, this receptionist uh, was quite annoyed, but nevertheless, she gave a ring to the director of the institute and asked, there are two people who are waiting there in the reception and they want to meet you. I'm not free, tell them to wait or come tomorrow. Now they said, we will wait. Six, seven hours they waited and finally the director came. What can I do for you? And what are you waiting here for? They said, no, uh, you see, we want my son who was studying in first year of MBA in your university. He, unfortunately, he died. Died? Yes. He met with a road accident and died. Now we want to have a memorial build in the courtyard of this university, that is Howard University, in the memory of our son. Then he got annoyed, the director. He said, my, my institute is not for, uh, it's not a burial ground, nor it is, is for memorial in case if, you know, we are very sorry that uh, uh, your son who was studying here, uh, he died. We are very sorry for, but not that we will allow these kind of things. And then finally, quite annoyed, he said, do you know how much does it cost to have a university like this? Now, the, you know, looks of people could be highly deceptive, similar to the look of a farmer. We always think that we know so much and the farmer does not. Here also, the director of this institute, Howard Institute, such a prestigious institute, mistook and looked only to the people and uh, by their looks, it was quite deceptive. Now they say, they, when he asked, do you know how much does it cost to have a university built like this? Say, we don't know, sir, we don't know. Quite a million US dollars, how many and how much? Could be about 50, 60 million US dollars to build a university like this, that's all. Now the answer from this gentleman was, that's all, we never knew. If this much only is the cost and you are not going to allow the courtyard to be used as a memorial of my son, I will have a university on the name of my son somewhere else and I can afford that. He was so much rich. And you know, the name of the university is Stanford and the name of this gentleman who was studying in first year of MBA in Harvard University is Mr. Stanford. Stanford died and Stanford University is equally a most prestigious university in USA. So please, my humble request is that in case if you are building up, if in, in case you are starting your profession uh, with the farming community, first and foremost is love a farmer, respect the farmer. He's just not Annadatta, but he's a very respectful person because he provides food to all of us and food is the most essential. And in terms of our needs, I think without food, nobody can survive. 
the India needs. We are very happy, and I will be uh, sharing with pride that India in 1950s, immediately after independence, you know, our agriculture land was more than what we have today. Today, our agriculture land, this statistics in case, if you want to write, please write down. The agriculture land in India today is about 141 million hectares, which was more in 1950. And the total production of food grain in the land, which is cultivated, cultivable land, arable land in India, the total production was only 15 million, million tons, 15, 50 million tons, five zero. Thanks to the Green Revolution, thanks to the scientist, Dr. M. S. Swaminathan, thanks to Dr. Norman Borlaug, who is a Nobel laureate, the only Nobel laureate in agriculture, thanks to all of these people that they have contributed towards the scientific agriculture. And today, we say with pride that 2021 2020-21, our agriculture produce, our agriculture produce has crossed 310 million tons from a lesser land than what it was in 1950, from 50 to 310, how many times that we have grown in terms of land, in terms of our product, production and productivity both. But when we look on Indian agriculture, vis-a-vis -vis the other part of the world in paddy, the highest productivity is around 38 quintals, which is in part of Raichur, part of Kopal in Karnataka, or East and West Godavari. These are the districts who are having a very intense paddy cultivation and a modern cultivation. Despite all this, 38 quintals, 39 quintals per hectare is the total production of uh, paddy. Where in China, it is already more than 55. See almost two times than India is average productivity of paddy in China. When we compare China with India, see China's land is 128 million hectares as against 141 million hectares in India. Now compare 13 million hectares lesser land cultivated in China and the total agriculture produce of China converted into valuation terms as compared to India. First, I will inform you the figure of China. The total agriculture produced in a year from 128 million hectares of land is 991 billion US dollars. And India, from 13 million hectares more, 141 million hectares is able to get only 401 billion US dollars, just half, lesser than that. So this is our production in maize, our product productivity compared to USA, productivity when I'm talking about the average productivity in maize, we are one third of USA. We are today around three, three quintals. USA is more than 9.8 or 10 quintals. In pulses, we are the largest producer of pulses in the world. We are the largest consu consumer of pulses in, also in the world. Our productivity is very, very low compared to the world, which means technological transfer has to take place. Now, what is technology? Technology, lab to land, we always say, Disseminate technology let's left to land. But what do we do? Disseminate technology itself, what do we do? As agriculture professionals, what we are supposed to tell to the farmer is that, look, this is the total land that you have got. What you had been sowing before, continue to do the same. If you have two acres of land, just give one acre of land to me and one acre you do whatever you had been doing or whatever you want to do. Leave it on him. So this becomes a control versus treated. Treated is, treated is my plot and control is farmers. Now, whatever you want to tell to the farmer, do it yourself in the 
treated plot that you have taken up from two acres, one acre yours, one acre farmer. Now, sowing to harvest technology, just go on. Crop protection measures, even fertilizer application, the seed, the seed rate. Seed rate in Andhra for paddy is around, you know, 25 to 30 kg of uh, seed per 10 cents of nursery. Wherein, uh, if, you if you go to north, it is much lesser, 10 to 12 kg only compared to 20 to 25 kg. Now, 25 to 30 kg. And cultivation practices are also different. These seed varieties being sown are also different. But whatever is suitable to a particular soil, tell to the farmer that, look, I have done it like this. First is the seed, selection of seed, then sowing of the seed, the spacing of rows between the seed, the number of uh, plants per uh, acre or hectares also, and then uh, first uh, basal application of fertilizer, then the micronutrients to be applied based upon the soil health conditions of that area. Soil health conditions, soil health card is there by the soil test analysis which the farmer gets. Now, soil health card are given to the farmer. So, farmer knows that my soil is deficient on what micronutrients, then replenish that micronutrient my, uh, nutrients by way of broadcast technology. In case of any needed, then top dressing also can be done. After then, after then you start, no, first is this is the nursery stage. First is the nursery stage for paddy, say, for example, you know, the nursery is between 20 to 25 days of nursery. After then it is transplanted, transplanted, then the total um, you know, crop calendar is between 110 to 120 days. Somewhere it is the early sowing, early varieties, which is only 90 to 110. I'm talking of paddy now. Now all this, then uh, the crop protection measures are to be taken up. In crop protection measure also, we have to be very, very clear that what is the dose of the pesticide, what is the dose of the chemical on which are recommended per acre of land? How to have the stock uh, solution prepared? Say, for example, 150 liters of water has to be sprayed in one acre, which is knapsack spraying pump. pump uh, one pump is around 15 liters. And uh, the total 10 pumps of 150 liters of total volume, water volume has to be sprayed in 4,000 square meters, which is one acre of land. How we have to do it? The stock solution is that first prepare, first take 10 mugs of water, put it in a uh, bucket, small bucket, stir well of the total quantity of the chemical which is recommended for spray in a particular field. And then in one knapsack spraying, take out one mug from the stock solution, put it in the knapsack spraying and fill it up with the fresh water close it and then start walking. Your walking speed also has to be understood. The drift of air has to be understood. The drift of the air, you know, generally people say, I don't understand, I don't know the drift of the air is from south to west or west to south, or it is north to east or east to north. You ask a farmer, small son, just aid around seven or 10, 10 years, seven, seven to 10 years, he'll be able to tell because he will take out um, small sand or mud from uh, the nearby and from the air he will throw. The wind direction is known from the uh, sand or the particles which are drifted in a particular direction. So while spraying, you start uh, walking in the direction of the wind and do not have uh, spray to be continued on the reverse side when you are coming because ultimately the chemical might come to your face also and uh, some of the chemicals may go waste. Now, these are some of the measures which we have to understand. Pest surveillance is a very important aspect. Generally, people ignore pest surveillance. You know, they start uh, entering into the field and if at all some scientists have uh, 
uh, recommended or they have um, informed them that the area, this particular area, say for example, Batinda. In Batinda, uh, a small taluka uh, is there at Gidarba. Now in Gidarba, the stem borer in, uh, you know, sorry, uh, in cotton, the aphid gassets uh, have started uh, attacking. Now, without even without even uh, going to the details, what they start doing it that for aphid and gasset, whatever is the chemical, they start spraying. Now, more important is to first identify whether in a particular field of the farmer it is there or not there. Once it is there, and then only you start spray. Otherwise, you don't give demonstration. Now, these are some of these things. And now, at the time of harvest, what do you do? At the time of harvest, tell the farmer, look, this is your field, one acre. You have done whatever you failed, you, you had been doing, and this is my field. And in my field, the total one acre of land has given these many quintals. Yours is this many quintals. So it is an additional of about five to six quintals, which is about 10 to 20% of the additional yield that you are getting from the field which I have given demonstration. Now, this becomes very, very important and the farmer prosperity goes up because he is getting the input cost, cost to, you know, uh, cost benefit ratio in case if we um, analyze and understand on technology versus the productivity, the gap is very, very big. The gap is very, very big. But unfortunate part is that the extension system and extension machinery extension mechanism in our country has miserably failed because it is more in the hands of the government extension. State agriculture departments have their agriculture officers. The agriculture officers are not doing the job which they are required to do, which have been expected to do. What they start doing is that either they sit or even while they're roaming among the farmers, they hardly talk on. They talk on many different subjects. They will talk uh, on politics, they will talk on other aspects, but they will not ask the farmer, what are your problems? A farmer is the happiest man in case if uh, somebody you know, listens to him and try to understand what his problems are. We have uh, around 58% of our total population in India is dependent uh, directly or indirectly on uh, agriculture. The rural India has the most untapped potential. About, uh, uh, you know, 15 years back, it was hoping uh, 8 lakh crore rupees, and might be today, it's about 20, 25 lakh crore rupees is the untapped potential in rural India. If we have to grow, the rural India and rural economy must, you know, grow. It is very, very good sign that despite the pandemic, despite the COVID-19, which has been havoc throughout and almost about 18 months, it is continued. The agriculture in India has given a positive growth of around 3%, where the decline is minus 8%, minus 7.9% decline in GDP the agriculture has grown by around 3%. Now, agri-exports have grown by 17.8% in the pandemic only. Despite all this, our agriculture exports from India are just 3%. We have 17% of the world agriculture, wherein our exports in agriculture is just 3%. Why? We are not yet been um, able to understand what the world wants. We grow uh, our own, but uh, are not concerned on the quality of produce that the world wants. The world wants a different quality of produce. The mango, which have to be exported out of our country, must be a mango which can have a shelf life of about 10 to 20, 10 to 15 days. So it should not get rotten within 15 days. Then only the mango can survive for the exporting country. India is the largest producer of mango in the world. Pakistan is much ahead in exports of mango compared to India. 
India is the largest producer of banana in the world. Ecuador is much ahead. Small country like Ecuador is much ahead compared to India when export of banana is concerned. Why? Because banana, what we produce, is not the same banana which the world wants. So we have to understand uh, what world wants. World is just not waiting for our Basmati. Even though we may say and we may claim that uh, we will allow only Basmati exports, world wants some different. Even the coarse variety of paddy also they want. Now, uh, grapes. It's very good that in horticulture, grapes and pomegranate, these are the two which we have uh, been able to develop and make them export worthy. Nashik and Abishai is one variety of grapes. Bangalore blue is not export worthy, uh, despite uh, the fact that the Bangalore blue is a very, very good grape. Then um, uh, there is one more, uh, you know, variety of, I'm forgetting the name, and Abishai, Bangalore blue, and uh, one more is there, no? Mostly grown in Nashik as well as in uh, parts of Andhra Pradesh. And uh, the exports of grapes have increased manifold. The exports of pomegranate have ex increased manifold. But the exports of mango, exports of uh, apple, export of um, custard apple, the export of um, other fruits are not increasing. The exports of coffee had been declined almost um, almost to a very low level. And who has taken over? The Brazil has taken over coffee in the world. Uh, most of our coffee plantations, mainly in Karnataka and uh, some part of Kerala, are closing down, closing down because we are still you know, working on uh, Rovashta coffee and we are not understood the coffee or Arabica also is an equally good uh, variety of coffee. Well, the blister blight of tea, we have not been able to control. That is the one, one such disease. Then uh, tea mosquito bug, that is called helipaltis. It is still a prevalent uh, pest uh, in uh, many parts, including Assam tea and all. If Sri Lanka has taken over, uh, you know, edge over tea in India, uh, compared to India, we have to be now vigilant. One, we have to bring in technology from the world. The technology is not available. For example, you know, the technology on um, hybrid seeds. We do not have in vegetable hybrid seeds, which uh, a country like Netherlands, Holland has been able to give, it, give us. All hybrid seeds we have been importing. We must know how to develop, what, variety, what to have the cross functions of the hybrid seeds in India. When it comes to cotton, uh, we were mainly dependent on Monsanto for a very long time on Bt cotton, that is Basil astringensis, the Bt variety now. It is cry, instead of cry one, it is cry two now, which, which is a prevalent variety of uh, uh, cotton. And the Bt cotton has come to a stage of around 99% of the total cultivated area in cotton has come to Bt cotton. But then the royalty of the entire BT cotton, whether produced in India or imported, it is gone, gone to Monsanto. Even Micro Monsanto also had to be. So we have to understand that unless until we do research of our own, unless until we make research on our own, tomato, for example, you know, Avinash variety of tomato from uh, Syngenta, we had been importing most of the time and it was costing as high as. 1,60,000 rupees a kg of seed of tomato. See, 1,600 rupees for 10 grams of tomato seeds. But then, why the farmer needs? Because this particular, each and every seed germinates. Each and every plant is able to give around 8 to 10 kg of tomato. It is disease-free. It has got lesser of pesticide incidence. And the shelf life of this tomato is about, about eight to 10 days, eight to 10 days. Wherein the tomato will fetch X price, the Avinash variety of tomato will fetch at least about three X price, three times more 
then uh, the, the, the other tomato. Friends, once you have taken up this profession, be very sure, be very passionate that this profession, whether you are in agriculture extension, you are in micro uh, finance, or you are in plant machinery, uh, you are in direct extension, you are in agri input industry, which are mainly seed, fertilizer, and pesticides, you must be very sure that I am going to take up this profession and uh, you must have a passion to be in the field along with the farmer. This is one that I have to uh, share with you. Another, agriculture is one which has a huge potential. Today, we are being talking that the Prime Minister of India vision by 2022 is to double farmers income. The other vision is that India must become $5 trillion economy by the year 2024-25. Now, our Prime Minister also made a statement that if India has to uh, come to be at $5 trillion economy, then the only area where we have to focus is agriculture and mining. Now, mining, I'm not going to talk about, but agriculture, yes, because it is the subject for all of us, which means that agriculture has to be now different than what it was before. Agriculture has to be Persian agriculture. Agriculture must have drone technology. Agriculture must have artificial intelligence. Agriculture must have the machine learning. Agriculture cannot be just the same what it was before. And we have to find ways how to make agriculture nutritional sufficient rather than just uh, the production uh, oriented of agriculture produce. Because India now has come to a stage of self-sufficiency. After self-sufficiency in most of the cereals that we have today, we are looking for nutritional security rather than only the you know, agriculture, uh, agri commodity security. Uh, security. Nutritional security is very important. Soybean, for example, soybean finds a much bigger market because it has a nutritional value both of carbohydrates as well as fats and oil. So, so ITC has looked to this uh, with the long vision. So they are concentrating in most part of MP as well as in Maharashtra on soybean. PepsiCo he's been looking very strongly on uh, potato cultivation, which is uh, going to be highly scientific. Why? Because they have uh, uh, potato chips called Lay's. Lay's is a brand from PepsiCo, and they are marketing. Uh, so they want the potato, which is, uh, which is suitable for making Lay's potato chips. So they have started talking on uh, the agriculture for which uh, the farmer must adopt all the technology which is, uh, which is given by PepsiCo. Then only they have the buyback arrangement. It's a contract farming. Under this contract farming, what they say is that Kupri Sinduri is the uh, variety of potato you should grow. If you have uh, late or early blight, then you must use this chemical. If you have a black scurf of potato, which is again the causal organism is uh, Rhizoctonia, you must use this. Means uh, if you have a tuber moth as one of the problem, then what you should do? Friends, there are number of crop segments. India is fortunately a country we, where we grow the maximum crops in the world. 237 crops that we are growing in the world in India. Can you all imagine that 70% of the world okra, that is ladyfinger, bhindi, we grow in India. 70% of the world, only 30% is the uh, rest of the world. 70% of the world okra is grown in India. How many of you would know that the Brinjal, the biggest producing state in Brinjal is West Bengal? How many of you would know that the highest growth in agriculture for last 10 continuous years has been in West Bengal? not in other states. We are always thinking that, yes, uh, the agriculture growth has been in Punjab. 
पंजाब हरियाणा आर टू ए स्टेज ऑफ सेचुरेशन आर टू ए स्टेज ऑफ सेचुरेशन नाउ अनदर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आस्पेक्ट हियर वी मस्ट अंडरस्टैंड एंड वी मस्ट डिबेट ऑन ट्राई टू हैव इंट्रोस्पेक्शन विद इन अवर सेल्फ टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आर दीज थ्री फार्म लॉज which have been given and there are a lot of resistance with a lot of you know problems which are coming up especially from northern part of the country against the farm laws here each and every farm law is a trade and commerce law and they are for the common farmer and the farmer is going to be benefited the only thing is that farmer have not yet understood the benefit that they are likely to get one small example if i give you is that fertilizer corporation sorry food corporation of india fci is single largest body purchasing cereals uh, wheat as well as paddy from the farmers in punjab and haryana now if fci closes sir yeah any uh, question sir i just want to uh, add yes sir i just want to add some points yeah hello am i audible yeah, please continue Yes, sir. Uh, myself, Harish, and uh, I'm in the uh, second year. And uh, hello. Yeah, please tell. Uh, I'm currently working in uh, IB Group, which is an uh, poultry feed manufacturing industry, uh, yes. and there are others as well. Like uh, this poultry uh, in feed industry is like um, facing much difficulties in collecting the uh, raw materials in the point of maize, soya bean, and uh, DORB. Like uh, broken rice uh, because the total mixture of them only makes a poultry food very good the soybean is the uh, most of the important source of protein that the poultry industry is being uh, dependent upon and the production is now like very much zero and the rates was about touching in the sky high of 90 rupees per kg and uh, now the government of india is uh, like allowed this poultry industry to import the soybean of Uh, from uh, other countries uh, which is an uh, like uh, genetically modified soybean and the government of india is not allowing our indian farmers to produce genetically modified crops as well where uh, i think the production has been uh, compared to the other countries the production of india is might uh, lower in in the point of uh, gmo crops ah uh, yes uh... even though i never thought that i will be able to address this uh, but i have a very thorough and very detailed knowledge on uh, the poultry industry also in india and also of uh, the gm soybean that you have been talking about the gm soybean is not approved in india we do not see any near future this gm soybean as well as gm brinjal will be approved in india See, each and every country has their own um, entry cases. Unless until we are very thorough, thorough. we have adopted uh, GM uh, cotton. But do you know that we, now we are totally dependent? This is called terminator gene. Yes. Yeah. Try to understand that cotton that earlier people used to grow the seed. Uh, used to germinate again here the cotton that you grow whatever seed you get make cotton seed oil but the seed cannot be used to grow the cotton again so this is a terminator gene now is if the same thing happens in uh, brinjal brinjal we are eating you know lot of diseases are there if every uh, if the humidity is uh, developed by the bt brinjal then the entire humanity will be at stake so india has a different kind of uh, problems we cannot take uh, uh, risk unless until the national institute of occupational hazard and ahmedabad and all the researchers give a very thorough study on bioefficacy of the product on the effectiveness of the product about the product use on human health and everybody clears this i don't think we should uh, venture into Uh, this kind of uh, uh, experiments which might harm the humanity the harm the humanity in india we cannot afford to do it so so i have been i have my doubts that we will be able to bring in one 
secondly poultry industry in india has a very bright future look at the poultry you know one is venkateshwar uh, hatcheries in uh, hyderabad how big it is namakal poultry industry punjab poultry industry they are all on this uh, many different countries fine flu and other uh, problems had been facing but india fortunately is free from and uh, uh, what we need to you know um, do is promote promote chicken eating promote egg eating promote the use of this product so that the farmer is able to get a better price because production is far more than the demand india is one country where the production of poultry is far more than the demand we have uh, problems like maggots on the, the there is no control of maggot i know a product like diplobenzone which used to take control of the maggots but no longer it has been in use because we have to import and it's not available in our country our country needs to speed up to put an impetus on the research and development work which has to take place our research and development expenditure is just around 1% 0.5% 0.3% where in the rest of the world the research and development expenditure is about 3 to 4% we have molecules which have not been any research for the last 70 80 years uh, nor we intend to because there is no ongoing research taking place in molecular research uh, as far as the uh, chemistry is concerned in india we do not have uh, the research on hybrids especially on vegetables we are still dependent that is why the biggest hubs of uh, this uh, vegetable seed i also told you it's amsterdam in uh, holland uh, please free, feel free to talk and ask me any questions because what i see india uh, two very important optimistic figure i have uh, trying to share with you is the maximum job opportunities will now come to agriculture maximum job opportunities we cannot ignore the largest employment of agriculture by way of farmers in our country we cannot ignore 14 crore farmers who are there in 6 lakh villages and uh, the agriculture produce we have to feed the ever growing population of more than 6 uh, 7 billion people people in the world india has to be a bigger export of agriculture produce in the world then only india can survive india exports from 40 billion us dollar were targeted to come to a 100 billion us dollar thankfully we are, we achieved around 45 46 billion us dollar but how can we do epida number of bodies have to help the farming community the farming community has to aggregate now by way of farmer producing organization fpos and fpos are the future of our country our finance minister announced 10000 fpos in india 10000 mpo fpos in india the hand holding of this fpos are in the uh, hands of nabard safic small farmers consortium now these are the people who are held hand holding this the maximum startups in agric in uh, in the world and especially in india is only in agriculture friends from here because the time uh, is uh, little short if i want i can talk uh, for hours together you know our organization danuka agritech limited uh, our brand ambassador for many years around four years was amita bachchan but what we promoted is save water insaan pani bana to nahi sakta bacha zarur sakta hai this is what has been the campaign from amita bachchan for our organization uh, we are uh, from uh, kashmir to kanyakumari we are working throughout and we have uh, around 400 uh, agriculture graduates in extension 1500 uh, total uh, temporary workers em- employed for farm extension they are generally from the local village that we pick up and they start working on we have uh, approximately 10 lakh farmers to whom we contact through our uh, call center that we have developed and dhanuka agritech limited in terms of uh, their 
in terms of presence in penetration uh, in agriculture extension that is in scientific agriculture extension i think uh, we 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 are one among the first five in india now with these words not only talking about our organization and uh, my own uh, experience which has been almost in entire country uh, in the remotest possible villages talking of all the languages that i could whether it is telugu or it is tamil or it is malayalam or it is kannad or it is punjabi or it is bengali or it is uh, you know marathi or gujarati unless until you talk in a language which the farmer understands you cannot be successful if you have any questions i'll be more than happy to answer but one thing is uh, very sure about and uh, keep it in mind that when it comes to advertising a product you know n number of media is available electronic media is there film shows are there when you advertise a product a lot of jingles are there highly creative advertising is also being done like you know if i ask you a question thanda matlab can you answer anybody quickly thanda matlab coca cola cola now how fast the answer comes ha uh, kuch tufani ho jaye sam sir okay डर के आगे जीत है माउंटेन ड्यू एंड तंदुरुस्ती की रक्षा करता है लाइफ बॉय लाइफ बॉय और हम का मामला है रूपा फ्रंट लाइन रूपा फ्रंट लाइन नाउ हाउ फास्ट यू हैव बीन एबल टू आंसर लुक देर इज नॉट एवन ए सिंगल प्रोडक्ट वेयर द फार्मर आंसर्स लाइक दिस which is an agri input and the best agri input which the farmer understands a farmer you know when we were talking about amitabh bachchan amitabh bachchan is not the one who farmer will follow farmer follows only one thing seeing is believing you come give demonstration of the product if i am satisfied if the because he cannot wait see if you fail in class 10th you will have one more year to pass again farmer does not have one more year if the crop fails he is doomed he is in a very difficult situation so he will understand only one and that is agriculture extension seeing is believing you demonstrate your technology to the farmer he is happy to adopt and he will be your progressive farmer he will be your spokesperson he will go the village sarpanch necessarily is not the only spokesperson so time being short i will have to stop here otherwise uh, Yes, sir. Six, eight hours and ten hours, and uh, I, I can talk on. Yes, sir. So, uh, students, if if you have any doubts, you can ask, or you can type in the chat box also. Sorry, is here to clarify your doubts. You can write to me or ask any questions. Uh, asking question, you please tell your name and the place where from you come. Good evening, sir. Good evening. So my name is Vishal Patak, and I'm from Gorakhpur, Uttar Pradesh. Sir, as you told, sir, we need to improve the farmers' needs and all. But if we see if at the basic basic level, uh, like in my village, if I say, I've seen it from the grassroots level, uh, the farmer doesn't have exceptionally uh, well knowledge of anything which he say. He just he they just follows their ancestor ancestors' rule for doing farming. If any other extension person comes. Him or her to explain it that we have to uh, do it in uh, this manner. He doesn't uh, listens to him or means they have an ego that uh, I am doing this job for I guess fifty years. My ancestors are doing this way only. Who are you to tell us you are some graduates and all? So they just don't need to try to listen to any other person if we say they have a other ego, next level ego for their things. No. So, i have uh, understood your question and having worked in up almost to each and every part so sindar sidharthnagar and uh, devariya bas basti all this yes, eastern sir. part of up in gorakhpur also yes, uh, i will differ with you because uh, i have seen uh, for last 15 years the growth in agriculture because of the technological transfer only especially in up the highest growth Uh, in last year last uh, two continuous years has been in up 
in terms of production, productivity, both, and adoption of technology. You know, crop protection chemicals, uh, we were reaching around 16% of the farmers. Today, it is 46% of the farmers. The statistics are the one which speaks truth. The myth or, uh, you know, hearsay are different. वो होता है कि मेरा मन ऐसा सोचता है कि ऐसा होगा लेकिन होता नहीं है होता वो है जो आपको आंकड़े बताते हैं the more important is to understand and read the statistics rather than to have uh, the preconceived you know notions india is progressing very fast in last 7 years it's a myth india has progressed very fast in the last 70 years also this is truth had it not been the you know fulpur project of ipco would not have taken place in alabad such big projects last 7 years not even a single agriculture production system or any big plant and machinery has been set up in up and up is one state which has been lagging behind only one area which has really grown is agriculture there is no job opportunities in uttar pradesh this is the truth myth is yogi is doing a lot of good things now these are the myths please go to the statistics and then understand gorakhpur is been progressing progressing in agriculture i have gone you know there was a small place like uh, if i still remember you know saraiya distillery was there in uh, uh, some majithia was there uh, now sardar nagar in gorakhpur and uh, this uh, distillery was being fed by lot of sugar cane growing area now sugar cane in western up productivity was far higher than eastern up today eastern up and western up have come almost at par in terms of sugar recovery gorakhpur sugar recovery in sucrose content is around 10.1% which is at par with the rest of uh, the, uh, india as well as world and so yes farmer will not understand uh, rome was not built in a day they may say that i am uh, not uh, in favor of adopting a technology but keep on hammering harder day in and day out they will understand they will do it something which is for the benefit of the farmer he cannot say that i will not adopt so uh, here the input cost is much higher than the output cost so if we see that so that's you know, what they input cost is to be measured only from the viewpoint of what is the cost input and what is the productivity output if the productivity output is more than the input cost no farmer will ever reduce uh, uh, you know cost benefit ratio is very important cost benefit ratio says that the input higher input by way of 1 rupee will give you additional about 3 rupees in the uh, productivity output no farmer will ever re refuse china has done it why india cannot i have seen you know when i went to a village in china it was far better than my own city in delhi the village conditions in china that is the growth that is the uh, development stage in which that country has come we went to a uh, you know village which was only cultivating uh, uh, oranges uh, oranges yes and uh, the orange quality the scientific cultivation each and every tree in orange uh, was uh, uh, duly swapped at uh, the stem when i went to one of the farmer house specially and it was a lie which i said that i as if i want to uh, use your toilet for urination even though i had no i had not to go but i wanted to see the now this farmer house small farmer house three bedroom house was far better than any of the you know industrialist house that india can ever afford the cost benefit ratio is very important any other question so may i sir yeah please good evening sir myself aryan mehta sir i am from muzaffarpur bihar okay so being an agri agri business student sir i just wanted to ask you your opinion regarding the future of agriculture in bihar because in comparison to rest of the states of india bihar is quite back in agriculture and especially after the partition of the state and uh, the biggest problem we we face flash floods every year 
at present I'll answer also. your questions first first the specific answer to your question was well, i will uh, touch upon uh, muzaffarpur yes sir here yes, muzaffarpur is one of the oldest agriculture university india is known in in delhi as pusa but pusa is the agriculture university which started in uh, muzaff in uh, samastipur also yeah samastipur yes sir yes. yes sir during uh, you know my age is 72 years Uh, when i was young i studied in dehradun and we were knowing that uh, the lychee is only from dehradun and nobody else no no other area in india other than dehradun was growing lychee today you see the nrc lychee that is uh, the lychee research institute where i stayed number of days together and i worked extensively to understand the problems of lychee in muzaffarpur muzaffarpur brings in lychee which is not only at par with dehradun but it is one of the best in the world lychee yes sir yes sir the future just... of agriculture is adoption of technology if unless until the government of india unless until about 15 20 years back when the lychee research institute was uh, established in muzaffarpur i think it is in muzaffarpur not samastipur yes yes sir yes sir yes, it is in muzaffarpur it's so, few kilometer from from my home sir yes it's yes just few kilometer from my nrc so you know how many big areas muzaffarpur is one area where dhanuka is at number 1 position how we have oh, been able to we, we, you know when i started my career in dhanuka over 20 years back we were at 48th position from the top today we have at number 1 position because we have worked among the farmers they have understood we are the friends of the farmer farmer welcomes us he'll be more than happy to take us to his house so future of agriculture in india is very very bright be very sure be very optimistic be very happy that you are in this country where the agriculture is the likely to be most sought after profession it is possible only if you tell a farmer that what you can produce what you can produce Uh, is gold that you can produce but what you are not what you are doing at present is not the way you should be continuing doing even in future also vegetables for example from samastipur lot of vegetable areas have come up one small sugar mill was there it was a sick sugar mill in samastipur today the sugar mill is uh, a very profitable sugar mill okay thank you sir sir there is a question so there is a question from uh, uh, sajal kumar okay is from jabalpur madhya pradesh he is asking okay. that uh, are the are there any global standards for exports like uh, european has different standards and uh, any other countries have different standards is there way for india sir mm. so is it comply with all these standards to the same kind of jawaharlal nehru krishi vishwavidyalaya is there in jabalpur it's a very prestigious uh, university under uh, ICR Indian Council of Agriculture Research and lot of research has taken place Jabalpur is one where the soybean research has been enormous soybean research has been enormous and some of the areas uh, in Madhya Pradesh especially Devas Ujjain uh, Vidisha uh, they have all uh, grown soybean and the productivity of soybean has been around 4 to 5 times more in last 20 years because the technology which the jabalpur university has given now because of this there are two companies one company is uh, uh, kargil the other is itc now both this company has established their oil extraction so have been oil uh, within madhya pradesh only and the lot of soya cake almost i think around 100% of the soya cake is going to usa as fodder now when usa is producing uh, the maximum soybean in the world we are nowhere in front of, in front of usa usa is number one soybean uh, producing country in the world still they are importing soya cake from us why because soya cake as fodder uh, for the livestock is most suitable which is produced in india so we have enormous future future for exports yes we must uh adopt technology we must have the chemicals which are export worthy which are clearing from the 
minimum uh, residue level, MRL level, which are clearing from codex. So like, uh, you know, Chile is exported from India to Spain about 10 years back. All the shipload came back because they were having some dicopol, which is not approved by uh, the codex. Uh, so we, we, we were not using the latest technology. And uh, then uh, some new miticides were being used uh, in Chile. Chile is having uh, a yellow mite as one of the very serious problems, especially in Guntur. So the new mighty sites, which, which were eco-friendly, which were safer, which were from green chemistry, now we are exporting chilies to the rest of the world. Bediki chilies is the highest, I think around 9,000 rupees a quintal. In Karnataka, Bediki chilies uh, is the price. Yes, we have huge potential of export. There are another question from Sai Prakash. He is from Hyderabad, Telangana. His question is, how... How do you feel the biggest strength of, what do you feel of the biggest strength of the company? What do you think? What do you feel the biggest strength of the company? Biggest of strength? Company. Of company. Uh, biggest strength uh, of the company is uh, you know, people say that customer is very important. I always say that employees are also equally important. In case if you think your employees are your assets, if any organization keeps spending on research and development, uh, on the you know uh, training and development of the employees, and up upskilling them, increase their uh, knowledge base, then the employees become the real big assets for an organization. The real strength of the organization is in terms of their employees. Employees contribute, employees work. You have to invest on employees. Training and development is very, very important. Sir, I have a there question. Are... Yeah, please. Sir, uh, now it is like it's quite clear that the agriculture sector is bound to go and there's gonna be a lot of agriculture activities. So just in the top of my head, I had a, a doubt and uh, you know there is going to be a lot of agricultural waste as well and wouldn't then venture in managing that agriculture waste also be a possible million million dollar idea agriculture waste your name is munish musi muslihuddin sir yes. my name is muslim for short i am from kerala sir okay Which part of Kerala you are from? I'm from Malapuram, sir. Malapuram. Okay. Umla Kaichu? Illa. Still, sir. Ah. Uh, Sugamale. Sugana, sir. Ah. Niyale Ningal Othri Othri Ishtu Punundu. Thank you, sir. Same to you, sir. Very good. Nahe Kunundu. You see, unless until I speak the language which you people understand, Kerala is one state uh, which produces maximum uh, cardamom in India, Griambu. Uh, this is one state which is maximum clove in India. This is one state which gives 90% of vanilla uh, in India. This is one state, the Idki is one richest possible state for all the you know, uh, uh, what, what is this called, you know, not pulses, you know, the cardamom and all, what, what are they called? Spices. Oh. Uh, maximum spices in the world uh, next to Guatemala is Kerala. Now, when it comes to waste, each and every waste must be recycled. We must know within the farm field how to recycle this kind of waste rather than an agriculture waste is not much. Stubble burning is taking place in Punjab and causing a lot of pollution, but there is a method. Your you stubble, instead of burning the stubble, you can uh, mulch it. And there are way there are technology for that. We must know now when it comes to you know wheat. Wheat is a fodder. 
whatever waste is there, it is used. Paddy stubbles, paddy stubbles, many places, they are uh, the weeds. The, when uh, the paddy is not cut, it is the weed. The weed management becomes uh, chemical control. The chemical control, the paddy is, uh, the, many a times we have seen paddy is uh, rotated with pulses, black gram. Black yes. gram to paddy. So the paddy becomes in black gram a weed. And we have to understand how to manage this weed. Oh, Hello, bro. So Kerala is the only state, perhaps in the world, not uh, in India. It's the only state where the cultivation of paddy is taken place by first removing the uh, sea water. The sea water is first removed, taken out. It has to be pumped out. For days together, the sea water gets pumped out and then they make the land uh, because the land is below the sea level. The land is below the sea level, especially in uh, Trishur. And uh, they are still been able to grow paddy. Any other question? Have I been able to answer your question? Yes, yes sir. Uh, excuse me, sir. Hi, sir. Yeah. Uh, this is Manu Shekhar, sir, from Andhra Pradesh. Mm. Uh, sir, my question is that, uh, like, when I have, uh, during this time, I have been working with my farmer in fields. So there I have observed that in now situation, even farmers are also not working in such a mind that to feed nation, but they are also working for money to generate one kind of revenue as their profession. So as we are upcoming generation or upcoming farmers, so to which we have to bond either to feed nation or either to earn some money through farming. So what will you suggest for us? Hold your hand onto the chest near to the heart. And I want to ask you a question. Yes, sir. The question is that, would you like your son to be a farmer? Yes, sir, 100%. Uh, still, still, I have my doubts because this is not a truthful statement that you are making. No, even sir, I'm, today, I'm, yes, sir, even I'm damn sure, sir. Why? Because as being, I have seen the consequences of my father, which he is facing in right now scenario in the farming profession. Farming, being, unless until it is a viable proposition, people will not venture into to make farming a viable proposition, there are only two ways. One, to have the technology, which the world is been using and we must also. And second is aggregate the farmers, get the farmers united together, and then their strength is very big. I'll give you an example, Chiadri farms. How many of you know about Chiadri farms in uh, Nashik? Uh, around nine years back, one farmer, uh, not a very big, not a very progressive, but a farmer who was educated farmer. His name is Vilas Shinde. He started aggregating these farmers. And today, this Shiadri farms, by aggregating these farmers, only farmers have, you know, put in 1250 rupees each as uh, a contribution in the, uh, in the share of the Shiadri farms. And today, the total sale of Shiadri farms is more than 450 crores. Hindustan yes, Unilever has set up their Kisan ketchup, Kisan tomato ketchup uh, plant in Shadri farms. That is the that is the strength of the farmers. Each individual farmer was thinking that I must quit farming and I must become a laborer. Today the same farmers are so happy, so prosperous that even they would like their great grandson also to be in farming only. Okay. Right, right, sir. So according to your words, like I analyzed that the first story which you have said that take uh, so for farmers to change, we also want to be part of them. Then we have to show some examples so that they can come into our track to use the latest technologies. So I'll that will be our final question. Word. And please answer this question and very truthful answer I want from you. Yes, sir. Uh, not uh, just, you know, when you are going to a farmer field, especially 
in around 15 days DAT, days after transplant in paddy, when the water level is uh, to that, you know, about two and a half to three, three inches deep. It is a well irrigated field. It is very highly muddy. And uh, you have to enter that field. Will you take out your pant? Will you take out your pant, take out your shirt and enter that field to show to the farmer? Yes. And many, many people, many said, no, no, sir. I am a BSc agriculture. I am MSc agriculture graduate. I worked with the same Japanese, you know, very, very senior executive. Their monthly uh, salary was roughly around two and a half to three crore of Indian rupee at that time. When I worked, he was the first person who took out a bank. Only in underwear, he went to the farmer field. His name is Mr. Uh, Sakuma. Yes, Sakuma. And I took him to Raichur district in Andhra Pradesh, in uh, Karnataka. Oh, this okay. Yes, sir. I yes, think, sir. Uh, yeah. It's already now 8.15. I think we come to a stage of closing because I have some other job also. Unless right. I'll you, take sir. one more question in case if you have. Good evening, sir. Yeah. Sir, my name is Saksham. I don't have any question, but uh, happy to share that uh, you mentioned about Gidadwa, sir. I am from Gidadwa. Very good. Badi changi kaal hai. Even though I am not Punjabi, I can speak Punjabi so well with you that you will be. Gidadwa is a log na titkara badi hai maar diya ek dujje na. Anji, sir. Bohut titkara maar diya. पौड़ियां <laughs> The small cows, you know, bachara, which is that calf has to be put on the on the back of this farmer, and all farmers and everybody is doing it. So, gider wah, mere maitha ran ho gaya bhai. And uh, the, the, I think in 77 to 81, four years I worked and I picked up Punjabi language, which I am able to speak with you even today. Oh. <laughs> and I speak quite well now. Yes. And I speak uh, the same with uh, my Telugu people also. Telugu Kundu Kundu Chapandi, We are also... Barsham Paag Patundi, yeah? I will speak any language. And that's how you are nearer to the farmer, otherwise you cannot be. Raitu Bhaga Bhagundiya, then I am happy. If the farmer is very happy, then I am also very happy. If you can make one farmer happy, I think you will be more than happy for having studied agriculture. Okay? All the best of all of you. And uh, with my best wishes, grow well in your life and uh, become a shining star and uh, become successful. खूब अच्छी तरीके से हमारी शुभ कामनाएं सबके साथ हैं, ओके? थैंक यू सर, 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 थैंक यू Okay, sir. now I'm leaving. Huh? Thank you. Yes, sir. Good night sir, to sir. On behalf of ISAB and SA. Yeah. Somebody sir, was saying something. Yes, sir. I'm giving a vote of thanks to you, sir. Sir, sir Surendra would give a vote of thanks to you, sir. Okay.
professor on behalf of iisit students and i would like to thank you for your valuable time through all the aspects of field marketing approach from agri input industry and your experiences are very well sir and they are uh, very inspired also and especially for clarifying doubts uh, and by giving your various examples thank you for that sir i myself uh, and my colleagues were very delighted to say that your session uh, we have get to know field experiences and uh, yield and exports of various fruits and also some pests also sir and the product taglines all are also very funny sir and apart from this i would like to share my experience with hon honorable uh, honorable kamal sir during my internship at danika on the very day i have met sir uh, he has shown good gestures towards me he has shared and explained a good uh, things to uh, two by quoting live examples also uh, sir we are very uh, much inspired and uh, filled with en enthusiasm um, if uh, if time permits we are very much interested to see as your as our guest lecturer in, in our esteemed campus thank you sir thank you for the wonderful time right all the best thank you and good night to all of you thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.